माई सेल्फ पावनी आई एम वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन सी एस सी एम एल डिपार्टमेंट एट एम एल आर स्टॉफ टेक्नोलॉजी टूडे आई टेक्ट गिव सेशन ऑन आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ एनर्जी सिस्टम इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस टाइप द इंट्रोडक्शन टू एनर्जी एंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एनर्जी एंड सम चैलेंजेस ऑफ एनर्जी मीन्स नेचुरल लैंग्वेज जनरेशन सो वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ नेचुरल लैंग्वेज जनरेशन वी कैन जनरेट द नेचुरल लैंग्वेज टेक्सट फ्रॉम द कंप्यूटर बेस्ड डेटा natural language can generate the natural language text from the computer based data this is the meaning of natural language generation so coming to the today's overview of the session is uh, what is the introduction about architecture of energy and how many types of architectures there there are three types of architectures pipeline architecture and interleaved architecture and integrated architecture this is the overview of the today's session so coming to the first one uh, what is the in, uh, introduction about the natural language generation so here energy systems are designed to convert the structure data or input to meaningful or natural language sounding text in previous video we discussed about the what is the introduction about the natural language generation right to do this uh, we have to follow uh, some different architectures to define the generation of the text from the computer based data there are three types pipeline and interleaved and integrated integrated coming to the first one pipeline architecture this is a pipeline architecture so what is the goal of the architecture is the sentence we have to convert from natural language text to the computer based data so we have to follow some processor so first one discourse planner and text planner and surface realizer so let's see the a uh, step by step process this is a top down approach and that means step, we have to follow uh, we have to follow step by step process where each stage uh, completes its task and passes it output to the next stage that means one it is a step by step process first we have to complete the first stage, then go to the second stage and next to the final stage that, that means we will get the output natural language output so first one discourse plan that means documentation plan that means how we are plan to uh, document that means decides decides the overall structure and order of the content how the uh, document in the in, in what way the uh, document we can describe right this is the overall structure of the document and order of the text content and text whatever it we have to follow some step by step process to plan the structure output of the discourse panel usually in the form of a tree structure that means like this t structure like we discussed in previous right parent node chain node this is that means step by step processor when we, whenever we call tree is a step by step processor right so example organizing man ideas main ideas are like paragraph flow some architecture flow like this flow charts we can call it as some examples of the discourse plan right so next one text planner so what is the meaning of text planner text planner that means which type of words we have to use like this phrases noun phrase verb phrase means we have to uh, flow some uh, syntactic rules right so express the concepts and relationship decided by the discourse planner that means we have to explain a paragraph uh, what is the concept is there in document and relation is the relationship between the some, some sentences the words we can explain here suppose example uh, sentence aggregation lexicalization that means choosing the exact word lexicalization means we have to choose the exact word of the particular sentence referring expressions like she hit he we like this they we can we have to define the referring expression that means when uh, which type of which person we are uh, expressing right in the sentence like third one surface realizer so what is the meaning of surface realizer it converts the structured information to grammatical correct sentences it means suppose we are writing in a, in a paragraph some we, we do some mistakes right thus in the surface realizer it converts the information into grammatical or correct sentences in the form of a correct meaning so is the final step of the output that means we can we can get the natural language text as a output let's see the example of the pipeline architecture here two sentences are there he danced with jaya and she got angry 
she forced jaya to dance and she got angry these are two sentences they represent the same meaning right she danced with jaya and she got angry she forced he forced jaya to dance and she got angry both are same meaning they here forced to jaya danced with jaya are the references meanings right let's see forced to dance means jaya is the doing dance here this is a so this means the sentence of two parts are there are generated independently and then combined the intent meaning may change unexpectedly whenever we are combining these two sentences the meaning will change but the concept is same the automatic the meaning will may, may change or may not change it depends on the sentence com combination so the pipe so the pipeline architecture follows a step by step procedure where each stage completes its task before passing information to the sec so whenever we are doing the uh, call whenever we are taking two sentences so we, whenever we are combining two sentences it means um, maybe change or may not be change so we cannot change the information in pipeline uh, architecture so it means it completes the task before passing the information to the next so before passing next only it completes the process this is a uh, some one disadvantage in pipeline architecture to overcome this pipeline architecture disadvantage we are for, we are using interleaved architecture so once a decision made in earlier stage it cannot be easily changed later so this is the meaning of the sentence in discussed here right in this model sentences are first planned structured then realized as a text this is a step by step procedure of the pipeline architecture right so to overcome the uh, previous problem we have to use interleaved architecture pipeline architecture interleaved architecture so pipeline architecture what we are doing we are generating a text but after combination after combining the both sentences we cannot change the meaning of the sentences that means here overlap with the sentences that means we are passing information to the text before so however sometimes sentences component need to adjusted after aggregation that means after finalization also we need to change the some some modifications required right so after human evaluation some modification required so in uh, that modification will do in this interleaved architecture that means pipeline architecture follows a fixed sequence that means previous uh, pipeline architecture we have following a fixed sequence we cannot mod we cannot do the modifications in pipeline architecture where each stage completes its task before passing data to text so this is the main key point in pipeline architecture and this is the drawback in this pipeline architecture is this is a fixed sequence we cannot uh, modification we cannot do the changes in pipeline architecture so before only uh, till the process is completed right so however sometimes rethinking right after human evaluation some modifications required that means we have to do some adjustments only right so uh, that is not possible in pipeline architecture it is not possible in in pipeline architecture so to allow for this flexibility we are using interleaved nlg architecture to to overcome this rethinking and adjustments problem in pipeline architecture we are using the interleaved nlg architecture so this is the uh, some architecture of the flow diagram of the interleaved architecture right so this is how we are taking some input as its sentences so in this step we are combining the discourse structure and text planner that means we are we are planning the overall structure and which type of words that means phrases we are using also here only we are planning right both combination of discourse and text planner after that we are going to surface realizer in previous uh, pipeline architecture we are doing both the separate discourse planner and text planner both are, that means text plan means micro planner both are doing separate right but here we are combining discourse and text planner after that we are doing the surface realizer this is a then we will get the output how we will achieve this let's see in this approach discourse and text planning are merged into a single stage right we already discussed right this allows continuous adjustment and refinements in text generation 
so the interleaved architecture allows the adjustments and uh, modifications and refinements of the text in a document this is the one advantage in uh, interleaved architecture right so after this uh, we have integrated architecture right what is the meaning of integrated architecture in is a meaning it's integrated both com combination of discourse and planning and realization right let's see this is similar to the blackboard architecture that means here some blocks are there right these are called as a components this is a combination of all components uh, that means we are integrated all these components into single unit then only we will get the output right this is the meaning of integrated architecture instead of rigid step by step process this model can trigger the rules operation based on the con context it means we are here we are not following the step by step process we are com combination of the all the components then we will get the output right it can combine structures objects actions and even that means phrases words in a way best suited to give a given situations nowadays we are using this one right interleaved and integrated architectures are more flexible than pipeline approach pipeline is a step by step process that means we cannot modify the pipeline architecture inter integrated we can modification that means automatically it takes the we given the situation uh, based on the situation it will give the output they allow real time modifications during text generation improve the quality and coherence of the output right this is a this is about integrated architecture so this is all about the architecture of nlg what we discussed in the session right architecture of nlg there are three types of architecture are there pipeline and interleaved and integrated architecture this is a very important concept theoretical part means how we are doing how we are planning the structure how we are using the word phrases important word phrases how we are integrated to find to get the final output thank you